Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. And today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, things are going to get weird and obscure as we look into one of the most surprisingly powerful gag Devil Fruits in the series, being the Washu Washu no Mi. The Washu Washu no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to rather specifically wash and hang either people or objects out to dry as if they were clothing, allegedly turning its user into a laundry human. It was consumed in the series by the quiet yet accomplished Vice Admiral Suru and first put on very, very sneaky display during the Marine Fit arc. I say sneaky because this power is really hidden amongst a sea of other crazy abilities that were demonstrated during this time period. And if you were to so much as blink, then you may have missed this power in both the anime and the manga. This fruit is another one of those obvious ones that takes its name directly from the Japanese pronunciation of an English word being wash, AKA washu. Although interestingly enough, the word wash comes from the much more violent sounding old English word waskan, as well as the even more violent Germanic watskan. But for the English incarnation of One Piece, both Viz and Funimation opted to keep things nice and simple this time around by simply dubbing it as the wash wash fruit. So this fruit, while exceptionally strange, is essentially a fusion of two other much more well-known devil fruits in the series. The first of which would be the Awa Awa no Mi, wielded by Kalifa, which gave her the ability to clean people or objects to extreme effect. And the second one would be the Hira Hira no Mi, possessed by Diamante, which allowed him to imbue both himself and objects with the ability to mimic the properties of fabric. And what the Washu Washu no Mi does is effectively both, which is both better and worse than either individually, depending on what perspective you're looking at it from. So an example of why the Washu Washu no Mi could be seen as a straight up upgrade is because unlike the Hira Hira no Mi, this fruit allows its user to affect other living things. And in this case, if someone is affected by the Wash Wash no Mi, then they are pretty much instantly rendered prone, which is an incredible advantage. On the other hand, the fact that the user can't necessarily use their abilities on themselves can be taken as a disadvantageous factor because it prevents them from accessing the mobility of the properties conjured. Although I should say that due to the very limited amount we know about this devil fruit, a lot of what I'm saying here is pure speculation. It is entirely possible and even probable that the user of the Wash Wash no Mi can elect to make themselves a target, it just may not be beneficial to do so due to the secondary effect of the fruit, which is the whole washing and hanging out to dry business. And I say this because from what we know of the Awa Awa no Mi, being quote unquote cleaned results in far more of a detriment than an advantage. Unless of course the user can control the level to which they are cleaned, i.e. turn it into something that more closely mimics the Suba Suba no Mi held by Alvida. However, given the nature of this fruit, I would be hesitant to think that that kind of versatility exists within it. And that's because it has a very specific effect, implying that the user can't necessarily necessarily choose to engage in the cleaning and clothing mimic portion separately, but rather they are both incorporated into the same process. Speaking of, at the moment, we also have no idea exactly how this power is implemented, which has great bearing on its effectiveness overall. Once again, taking the Awa Awa no Mi as an example, it may be a case where the user needs to make physical contact with every piece of an area that they wish to clean and hang out, in which case this fruit could be a tricky proposition. I mean, it worked very well for Califa because she was a super fast assassin, and I'm assuming that Suru possesses similar physical prowess, if not greater, but the average person might find themselves implementing this ability on a very slow and ineffective scale. And that may become especially unrealistic depending on the size of your target. For example, take Kaido or even better, a giant. They would require one hell of a thorough washing to achieve the intended outcome of the fruit. Of course, on the flip side, just imagine this fruit in the possession of a giant, which could make the washing process infinitely faster due to the ability to cover significantly more area at once. But there is also the potential that the effect is even greater than that of the Awa Awa no Mi, and that this may be activated instantly with a simple touch. And there is precedent for such fruits within the Paramecia class. And here I'm thinking specifically about Sugar's Hobby Hobby no Mi, which was activated completely after the mere condition of touch was achieved. If that were the case, then the Washu Washu no Mi would be pretty damn ridiculous, but there's currently no way of knowing that. But with all of this said, I haven't even begun to discuss the most maddening aspect of the Washu Washu no Mi, which is the fact that Oda has stated that the user retains a much deeper ability in that should they choose to use its cleaning powers on more villainous or antagonistic beings, then during the process, their hearts also become a little bit cleaner. And you can probably tell this by the delighted looks of Suru's cleaning victims, pictured here and here. And with this in mind, for what it's worth, let's examine how that power is implemented by the hands of Suru. And really, she is in one of probably the best possible positions in the world to be dishing out this secondary aspect. As a prominent figure in the world's most dominant law enforcement agency, Suru would prove to be absurdly effective in reducing the global crime rate, not only managing to easily disable and capture enemies, but also going on to begin their rehabilitation as a direct consequence. More importantly, it is implied that this is only a slight improvement, so it's not like the Washu Washu no Mi can completely 
change the heart of a corrupted individual, although it may be possible that a compound effect would eventually be able to generate such a result. So for example, you could essentially capture any number of evil pirates and just keep washing them over and over and over again until they are upstanding members of society and may even want to join the Marines themselves to fight for a newfound sense of justice. That would be an incredibly valuable ability, although only insofar as Suru can apply it swiftly and on a mass scale. And of course, without any drawbacks in terms of potential cost to stamina or life force, which is always something to keep in mind because many powerful paramecias tend to come with that caveat. The other thing I do come to question is how this fruit may affect targets whose hearts aren't necessarily villainous to begin with. And a prime example of that would be Luffy, one of the more pure hearted individuals in the entire series. But with that said, even Luffy has his minor personality traits that could be considered less than noble, such as his refusal to share food. So maybe someone like Luffy would become slightly more generous as a result of a good old fashioned cleaning from the Washu Washu no Mi. Onwards with awakenings though, and really if the Washu Washu no Mi were to follow the Paramecia trend, then it would effectively allow the user to turn the world into one giant washing machine, but I'm not so sure that it would. The thing about awakened Paramecias we've seen thus far is that they were generating types and the Washu Washu no Mi doesn't actually generate anything, it just changes the physical properties of someone or something. As such, I'd imagine that the user can by default change their environment into this wash state, although perhaps maybe not because it would be pretty damn difficult to hang the ground you're standing on out to dry. Perhaps not impossible, but definitely tricky and likely not recommended. Instead of that though, it may be a more simple upgrade to whatever the base properties of the fruit are, which is hard to speculate on, but we're going to do it anyway. So for example, if the user needed to touch every piece of an area to affect it, then that could be upgraded to just touching the general area. And if it were that, then maybe the user could even begin washing and hanging things out to dry without touching them at all. That or we could go into more depth with the whole cleansing of hearts things. And instead of a mild wash, we could amp things up to some sort of deluxe wash, capable of completely reshaping a person by giving them a simple timeout on a clothesline. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a laundry human. Something else we haven't quite explored yet is the idea of exactly how long a villain remains in a state of clothing, left hung out to dry. It may be a situation like the Awa Awa no Mi, where they need to stay that way until the soap has been completely washed off or dried. Although there is also the potential that this state needs to be deactivated by Suru herself. Likewise, another unknown factor is if the user needs to supply their own clothesline for the power of the fruit to take full effect, or if it comes as part of the devil fruit package deal. Although I'd find it kind of hard to believe that it would be the latter, because even though this fruit is one of the stranger ones we've seen, generally a physical clothesline on top of that just seems inconsistent with the rest of its abilities. So where does this all leave us? Well, look, for what is essentially a joke devil fruit, it's pretty absurdly powerful. And if it were to be applied thoroughly within the story, I feel like it would be able to make some real waves in the world. Not that it hasn't already. I mean, Suru has no doubt used it as a big part of where she's managed to position herself here today. But in the end, this is just a little quirky idea from Oda and it's very unlikely to be explored in much depth in the future. But that certainly is not going to stop us from recognizing it as one pretty amazing and unique Paramecia. And honestly, if presented with this fruit, I'd probably go for it and attain a super weird but super fun power. And with that, we are going to commit the Washi Washi no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next time, we have another incredibly exciting fruit to examine, being our second mythical Zoan of the series, wielded by the mighty fleet Admiral Sengoku, being the Hito Hito no Mi model Daibutsu. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenanigans retakes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Washu Washu no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. If you could save just one of them, would it be Ace or Whitebeard and why? Hmm, honestly, my initial thought would be Whitebeard. That character just had so much more of a profound effect on me than Ace did. Although I guess it kind of depends because Whitebeard was going to die naturally sooner or later anyway. So saving him may be kind of pointless in the grand scheme of things. I think it definitely would have been worth it though, just so that he could have had the chance to finish off either Blackbeard or Sakazuki. Because man, that would have been satisfying to see. Could there be a One Piece spin-off? 
And if so, what do you think it could be about? Yes, 100% yes. And as for what I think it could be about, well, almost literally anything. One of my personal biggest desires for such a thing would be a series that focuses on the Roger Pirates in the same way that One Piece focuses on the Straw Hats. Because I know that by the time that One Piece is over, we will know the bulk of their story, but I really want to experience more of the mundane stuff like the crew interactions and a bit more depth than I think we're ever going to get to. But really, the possibilities are endless. I mean, I'd even eagerly read a series about Gekko Moria as a rookie pirate, climbing his way to notoriety, and then ultimately being defeated at the hands of Kaido. You know, back in the days when Moria had that pure lust to become the Pirate King, and was probably far more interesting than he is in One Piece. Well, you know what? We could forget pirates altogether and follow a Marine for a change. Maybe a series focusing on Kobe in parallel to Luffy's journey, or actually better yet, a prequel that features Garp as the main character and takes us through his entire legacy. And there's just so many more options, so let me know your prequel desires in the comments. Remember One Piece Super Grand Battle X on the 3DS? No, no, I do not.